Have you tried to find rope thimbles lately? Real tough. Cellrite has them in brass, but they're expensive, as one would expect. I suppose some of the other traditional riggers might have them, but I have not seen them. I decided to use rope strop blocks on Toad Hall. I like the period look, and they are very easy to make and quiet to boot. Cheaper, too. But with rope strop blocks, you need rope thimbles, and I expect you need a lot of blocks. Toad is, after all, a gaffer and has a square rig to boot. A lot of blocks means a lot of rope thimbles. At six fifty-three a piece for the one and a quarter inch, that's the total outside diameter brass thimbles from Sailrite, a fine company, by the way. That's about two hundred dollars just for thimbles. Toad will have a working complement, including spares, of about thirty blocks. Too much money. Here's what I did. I got some soft copper tubing of the size that I wanted, three quarter inch ID. Then I got a large ball peen hammer. A ball peen hammer head without a handle, and another large ball peen hammer. I cut the tubing into small pieces about one inch long. Dimensions are flexible here, depending on the size of the tubing, the size of the thimble intended, and the size of the rope strop to be used. I appended a piece of tubing onto the ball of the ball peen hammer head without the handle, which in turn was firmly clamped down to the cast iron deck of my table saw. You need a very firm base on which to work, and next best to an anvil is my table saw deck. I placed the ball of the ball peen hammer that had a handle on top of the piece of copper tubing. When everything was arranged, I whacked the flat face of the ball peen hammer with the handle that was on top of the tubing which was on top of the ball of the ball peen hammer without a handle, which was clamped to the table saw. Repeated blows with the working hammer formed the tubing into a perfect thimble. It cost nothing. The copper tubing was scrap. I never throw anything away, because it's useful. The sketches give you the idea. Now, I agree, the copper is not as strong as the brass, but the loads on small boats are low, and therefore I feel that these copper thimbles are as serviceable as they need to be. Happy whacking.